Um, Ram, Blade Juggler, Pontiff. I think it's Blade Juggler or Ram. Easy Ram, yeah. You gotta find out. You gotta run the gate decks when it's when it happens. Find out if it's any good. Plus, it's kind of my card, a sheep, a mouton. Have curly hair like a sheep. Rewarded. Where is missing? Who's in our draft? Matthew V. Is that Mad Mad Vienno? Oh, that'd be a name from a name from the past. What's better, open the gates or guild gates? I'm gonna start taking the guild gates pretty early here. You don't even need a real gate deck for Ram. It's best in Simic or Grill with like five gates. Yeah. What do you think about the gates deck, Kenny? Open the gates, my table. Azor is probably one of the good guild gates. What would you first pick, Kenny, if you had to draft for your life? Gatebreaker, Ram, or Blade Juggler? If 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 you had to free O to to be allowed to uh to survive Kenny Juggler probably yeah. I'm trying the gate stack though, see how, how it works. <clears throat> probably binding. Probably just semi gill gate. I'm gonna take the gates pretty high over like Mediocre commons. Savage Smash or Gil I guess I'll take Gil Mage. Probably deck that floods a lot. Savage Smash is kind of tempting. You like Pontiff over Juggler? First pick, first pack? Okay, Pontiff's that good. That's interesting. Alright, in this deck I'm assuming I should just take a Spidey. Spidey's probably the perfect creature for a gate deck. Third night in a row. Knight's not a very good card, Quark. It's like playable common. You don't always even play it. It's like a fine five drop. Nothing special. Why am I just not taking the gates over what? What the hell? What's the pick here? Judgment or Messenger? I want to take Judgment in case I get the Dovin's Acuity. Like Messenger is kind of mediocre. I think Judgment's quite good. What are we talking about, Kenny? Isn't my deck great? How many gates do you need? You only, I mean, you want like eight or nine, I guess. I already have two. Gateless gates. See? Easy gates. You guys have no clue what you're talking about. Clearly. Oh, I have 21 trophies. Just because I play 16 drafts an hour. <laughs> I'm joking, Kenny. I'm joking. Je rigole. That means I'm joking in French. Joking, but not inaccurate. Wow, you said it. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. I'll leave the Ohio and settle it. I'm not getting involved in that uh, state side. Ooh, two Gilgates in this pack, but a Guardian. I gotta take actual good cards. Yeah, Chaw is very good. It's like rare power level. Ooh, Kaya's rare. <clears throat> I 
It's like the perfect gate card too. Yeah, we have double black. A double black card now. Another angel. Oh, this is not good. Four or five picks in and Gates is missing. Rip. This is probably a good uh good blocker. Maybe flame. That's kind of greedy. I might not even be red. Kaya's Wrath was maybe a bit of a greedy pick. We'll see. I think I can make it work. There's no one someone else is on gate. I mean, it's not because the guild gate is missing pick four that someone's on gate. Sometimes gate's just the best card in the pack for you. Standard rook four? I haven't played standard. <clears throat> Man, deploy's very good, but it's not going to be very good in my deck. All right, or is up guild gate. I really need... Gotta start actually taking gates. Oh, look at me, Kenny. This is how you do a gates deck. Oh, I have six mystics in every six mystics and four shark to crab in every deck I draft. I'm the greatest. Um, interesting pick. Ragdos Gilgit doesn't do a ton for me. How many play balls do I have? 11? Ah yes, Ragdos Gilgit. Ah, Ragdos Gilgit, we meet again. Dude, it's not my fault if every pack just has Ragdos Gilgit. Maka! Alright, enough five drops. This pack sucks though. Not her five? The brush driver is kind of nice. Nice little defensive creature. Alright, I sure hope I get a gate to blaze. Maka! Messenger or Junk Trawler? What's a better blocker? Messenger is a bit better with Kaya's Wrath. No, oh, it's a better card in my deck though. Bankrupt in Blood. Oh, I'm definitely playing Orza Flocket in this deck. We just finished season one of this show. Uh, they're already on season two. The the marvelous Miss Maisels. It's pretty sweet. I think it's the same writer as Gilmore Girls or something. Just pretty good dialogues, etc. It's a good show. You can just play Esper with Gates. I have some really good green cards. What's better, Thrall or Consume? Maybe Consume because of Curve. Consume is premium removal, but watchful Grasping Thrall is just premium. Well, I just rag this Guildgate every pack. What if you get a red Gilgate in every pack? It's kind of unreal. Alright, I guess we just Esper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I have some fillers. I have one green Gilgate. Griffin? Griffin's kind of garbage. If I'm going to cut the green. I don't know if I'm gonna cut the green though. Yeah, I could have had an Esper deck, just double de double deploy. 
Maybe deploy is not that good. I mean, it's very good, but let's take the guild gate so I can cast my spells. You gotta admit, I got kind of unlucky with with these stupid uh, with these stupid green gates in every pack. Let's see. How many cards is that? 18. Then I have like Filler Filler City. <clears throat> Final Payment's pretty bad in my deck. That card kind of sucks. I'm just take another Shroud. Gate or lock it. I have one, two, three, four gates. Gates was the angel. I don't know. Locket's so good in my deck, and I need playables. What's better in my deck? Orator or Senate Courier? Probably Courier. Yeah, it feels like. So I guess I'm not even sure anyone else was drafting the gate stack. I heard that card's supposed to be pretty good to Sentinel's Mark. Let's see. Probably don't need two prying eyes. I just took the locket because I was worried I was not going to get enough playables. And I was gonna have to play some really bad cards. I think a lot gets pretty good in my deck because I get I got no no card advantage. Like kind of this is kind of card advantage, all these creatures. Let's see, Knight of Sorrows is kind of playable, but I think you have too many fives already. That's twenty-four. And those are the two maybes here, Night Arbiter and Prying Eyes. Yeah, pretty much. The portal's probably not bad in my deck. I don't have some good enough. I guess Bring to Trial's not a main deck card. Should I play like that or should I play a second Prying Eyes or is that too much? What am I splashing, by the way? I guess I'm splashing blue? White, blacks, few blue cards. Yeah, the dream. Look, I'm gonna go Thrall into Thrall into Thrall, then I'm gonna battle them all, then I'm gonna just just disrespect portal my lumbering battlement, and then Get them all back, and then it's gonna die, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna win the game like that. <clears throat> this deck's pretty good. I'm just worried I'm not gonna be able to finish my opponents off, but I think I should be okay. I would feel better with, like, maybe a, a Dead Rebels or something. Yeah, we're trying to draft Gates. We first picked uh, the Ram, and then we second picked an Angel, and then... You know, take a bunch of cards, bunch of gates, but then they try to come exactly together. All right. Two prying eyes is probably too many, right? Two lockets, two prying eyes. All right, I'll do that. I have a gill make too. All right, let's see. I have six sources of whites with the locket and the gildiates already. So let's see, four should be more than enough. Then I need one, two, three. I need a lot of black for Kazrath. So I probably need eight black as well. That's, and that would leave me with six, seven blue. 
Probably you need one more white. No, four, or that's ten white. Eight white plus the locket. Six blue plus the locket, and seven black plus the locket. I wonder if I should do one less white, one more black, and then I'll have nine sources of white, nine sources of black. Just for Kazrath. Man, that's kind of tricky in this deck. It's pretty good, but it's still a bit tricky to figure out the exact. Uh... Anyone thinks I should play uh I should play the second copy of Brian Geyser or something. Ten white men. Alright, I'll have ten white here. Play the two five knight. Why don't we play the two five knight over Mark? Is Mark garbage? Yeah, I'm always suspicious when people rave about an aura. That doesn't seem that good to me. But you also hate this you also hate the the fairy, Kenny. <clears throat> the vamp is meh. Yeah, the vamp is for the curve. It's more of a blocker than an attacker. It's like pretty high, you know, free power for free mana is decent, has lifelink. It's curve play. Alright, I'll cut the mark. I could get behind cutting mark for sure. Mark seems good with all these flyers. Yeah, it's true too. I don't know. Don't have to convince me too hard that auras are bad and I shouldn't play them. The trophy leader tells me to cut Mark. Uh, I'll cut Mark. I guess I should try it for myself, but we know we know what aura do. It sounds like did the Trump give up or something? Trump got dog walked by Pelosi. <clears throat> so I was wondering was that whole arena decklist that I follow by the way, because I'm interested in seeing what people do well was. What what prevents you from just screenshotting like a deck and being like, oh I I went 5-0, whatever was that deck arena on? Then smashing was I want to I want to kind of troll that send some terrible decklist with a bunch of one ups and be like, won twenty matches in a row and ranked from bronze twelve to you know uranium 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 one. Um, I'll draw first. I have all these summary judgments. Drawing first is a new cool thing to do. No, I did, I don't I don't remember in a draft format where you wanted to draw first so often of the time. <clears throat> Sometimes there's like one or two color combos that want to draw first and like in some matchups you want to draw first, but this is pretty much every every deck wants to draw first, except maybe like aggressive red green decks. Oh no. It's it's the long con. You discard a few times to hook them in, and then you, you wipe their board away. But Gab, you're not really getting card advantage if you're discarding every turn. Oh yeah, that's right, that's true. That's not a great plan at all, actually. All right, plan is in the plan is in full effect. Salut, reptile. You don't know you don't know the fat cobra, Tim. It's the nickname of one of my friends. He used to play Counter Strike. Discarded the two five. 
Yeah, against another blue-white deck, I figured maybe 2-5. I was debating discarding 2-5 as well. Low Mage Binding doesn't feel very good against Angelic Exaltation. You know, roof as well. Roof. Roof. Hmm. Unfortunate. All right, well, this game didn't go very well. Hey Lily, congrats on the Mox run. I'm assuming that's why you're here, just to gloat, so getting it out of the way. You can go on uh can go on with the rest of your day now. <laughs> Was your seal deck any good or just just incredible plays all day? <laughs> I I joke, I joke, please stay. All right, blue white, blue white. VM seems pretty bad against them. They have like the fairy, the one two, the the one four. Maybe Twilight Panther is even worse actually. Vamp might be better than the Panther. Sealek was a nine out of ten. Jeez, do you have a screenshot? Did you have like Absolution or something in your deck? I don't know what a 9 out of 10 looks like in Sealed Egg. I've never seen one. I wonder what's the best Sealed Egg I've ever opened. I wish I could remember. Free mistakes that can derail your poker train. I get emails from Doug Polk still. Oh, you have the screenshot. Oh, Twitter. Uh, we did the final round of loss for the 7 1. No one went 8 0. You guys spewed equity. Or you did have that solution. Only two Gale Gates. Three Grotes Demise, two Lockets, Sphinx Insights. Yeah, perfect deck. Literally perfect deck. No, I mean, I guess more Sphinx Insights. Slimebind was really good for me. I wonder if it's also good in draft. I brought in Slimebind every round, I think, and yeah, it was just good. The eel. The freaking eel. Probably gonna discard stupid courier. Could discard swamp too. All right, I'll discard swamp. All right, let me see if I can get a little tempo going here. I'm gonna risk some damage. Not sure if it's right or not. So I figured either they do it pre-combat and then I use law binding and they wasted a free mana or they attack and they pump in combat, but why would they do that? Not too sure. Anyways, it worked. Um, how much do I care about a Senate Courier in this matchup? Not too much. Five o ten o the league, as in sealed league. Is that a 10? 
Oh yeah, Glassworks was an Afterlife token. It's not bad. Wow. Congrats, Tim. You must have outplayed your opponents pretty hard. Oh, that deck's absurd. What, no Gilgates? No Gilgates, no lock. It's kind of unlucky. You didn't get color screwed a single time? Wow, the non bow, I just realized. Did I mess that up? I didn't have that card when I played the, the binding, right? Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Play a blocker for now. Maybe they'll play something even bigger. Maybe they'll play a Skull Gator or something. All right, I got to I got to I got to need I need to know what you think. I mean, I think you're going to be on my side, Tim, but That was like Kenny's first deck today. Kind of the nuts. I don't know if you can see very well, but he has ascendancy, he has five Aramonculus, he has two shark to crabs, Agara. And he didn't have a single like, Guildgate, and he claimed he didn't really want Guildgate in this deck. That Guildgates were kind of whatever. Like the good old 8 and 8, you know, oh, wait, 6-6? Six, six? Oh, they have Exaltation again? Well, apparently I cannot beat the Exaltation card. It's kind of unfortunate. I guess I should loot first. You didn't win? Did you get color screwed like I predicted? Did your hubers get punished and you got mana screwed? You came to apologize? To bet this card's a sorcery. Well, I guess Consecrate is an instant. All right, sometimes you just have to get in there. <laughs> How dare you? I don't wanna lose my Gilgate. Gilgate's like my little insurance. I do hope they draw another Exposed Daylight, though. And then I get to use my Consume, finally. It's not even clear, I suppose. I think it's right to bind it, bind it again. Ooh, the Snake. Sneaky, sneaky. Wow. No big deal. <clears throat> Opening has so many sublime archangels, yeah. All kind of all kind of stuff. All kind of exalted creatures. Is there an exalted looter or an exalted uh, oh messenger? That's obnoxious. That's rude. That's the moment where you lose the game because you forgot to you forgot you had like right click, uh, always yield. Wait, why did I do that? I could have just blocked. Well, I guess it's better to do it. <coughs> to loot or not to loot? This card's not even that good, right? That's great, I'll loot. Genius. And looting. Wow, now that's looting. That's some serious loot. Loot, 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 loot. Again? Wrecked. No, I'm joking. Does nothing. Fog. It's like a double fog, actually. Kind of annoying.
Anyone, uh, anyone in chat in New Jersey for the GP? Or anyone playing? Uh, I'm assuming if you're playing the CG, you're probably not watching a draft stream on Friday night. I kind of have a problem. I'm not winning this race. Hmm. Hmm. Should I play Angel first? Probably not. Should I loot first? I'll loot first. Oops, that's not good. <clears throat> Should I play the sealed MCQ at 6 a.m. here, Florida time? I don't know, it depends on what time you go to bed. <clears throat> Why not? I'm at 18. I mean, Arc Angel doesn't even do that much, honestly. Hmm. What am I at? 18? This guy's a two turn clock. They have no cards in hand, so that's one, eight. It's a 10 damage a turn. Maybe I shouldn't have looted, actually. That was not very smart. No, that was fine. Just more option, right? I guess I have the Gilmage. I, f I forget Gilmage. I, I literally forgot Gilmage had another ability. And the two life was kind of relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like I haven't played that Gilmage like 10 billion times either. But sometimes you just forget. Honestly, that was a fine loot. That was a fine, fine loot. Might's too slow this game, kind of. All right, no weird, uh, no weird BS. I don't know, I should probably attack with the Guild Mage as well. Well. Yeah, that loot was super questionable, not gonna lie. I don't know what I was thinking, not much, obviously. I don't have any enchantments. Or, I mean, well. Do have a lot of removal, removal. That's good. Does Bring to Trial kill anything in their deck? Nothing besides a big eel. So like typically Senate Quarter is just awful because it doesn't race and it doesn't block. So I should probably board out these like one power creatures. And I guess I should bring in Random dudes. Maybe the mark is okay against them. They didn't play much removal. The vamp helps, yeah. My problem with the vamp is that they have the like one two fairy, etc. Vamp might help though. I wonder if I should play a stalwart or something. Pump my no creatures. Maybe Mark is good in this matchup. I don't know, nothing's really that good. At least, at least 
at least Pegasus blocks early on and it gets in for some flying damage. They had pacifist? Yeah, they had one pacifist. How did I get rid of it? What did they use it on? I guess I didn't get rid of it. Oh yeah, I got rid of it with the battlement. Yeah. <clears throat> It's kind of tricky. Honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I should... I mean, they have two exaltations and I have no ways to get rid of them. I'll try Sentinel's Mark. Seems kind of bad, but I'll see. Maybe I should just suck it up and just keep in flyers. Just at least one of the two flyers. Also, I need to try and remember to... Well, I have it in my opening hand, so that makes it easy. I chose not to play first. Basically, pre they basically pressed F for respect by choosing to draw first after I chose to draw first. Looter, probably best card in the matchup. Um, just the cards. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I could have played that card. Loot, loot, loot. Very important to show them how lucky you are. Play one of each basics. Assert dominance. Mental. Especially when they mulligan. When they mulligan and they mana screwed and they see you go one, two, three, it's pretty tilting. All right, I'm not too sure what to do here. I think I'm just gonna start killing creatures, honestly. I don't wanna take damage, you have two exaltation, I have an edict. Why not? Why the fuck not? Hmm. Interesting. Are they going to bluff attack? Jeez. What's going on here? Yikes. It's going to be a yikes for me or a yikes for them? Looks like a yikes for them. We have the counter spell and it's a yikes for me. They never bluff. Let's see what they cry. Judgment is so good, honestly. I thought at first it was like kind of whatever, and I was like, I don't know, it seems pretty good, but no one's really seems super high on it. Um, I need double white and double black for Kai's Wrath, but I have more white in my deck, so I guess I should discard planes. Maybe I should have played that land. I don't know if keeping it in hand makes a ton of sense. I kind of want to play my Angel next turn anyways. Like, you know, even if I'm not gaining any life, who cares? I'm just going to play Angel, let them spend some mana. I'm going to gain more life anyways. Yeah, I'm taking in a bunch of extra damage, but who cares? Hmm. What did this cry last time? I already forgot. Oh, let's see what this cry this time. Not that it matters much. Bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom. This game is kind of close still. They're gonna need to draw really well, but. All right, Gab, just remember. Play 
play consume first, and then you play the binding. I'll just say go. I don't know if I should loot and just get rid of prying eyes if I draw a really good spell, or if I should just gain two. I think I'm just gonna gain two. Punished. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I'm never flooding in a million years. That's for sure. If they play Exaltation, I'll just trade. It's fine. So Exposed Daylight. It's kind of nasty. It's right to the top as well. Hmm. It's getting kind of scary. A 10. Never they just kept exaltation. Oh, they kept lands. Hmm. Not too sure that that many tricks. I guess we're about to find out. They might just be fine with trading. Dualist. Hmm. It's kind of like a one for one. They have a one two flying right behind. That's pretty good. Obviously, it's pretty good for them. Loot or gain two? I'm at 10, they have two cards in hand. Hmm. It's pretty close between looting and gaining two. Uh, excellent mana tapping, keeping the white up instead of the blue white. Next level plays. We'll double block again. Another another duelist. Another chupacabra. <clears throat> Finally. Saddest arc, the saddest archway angels ever. I'll try to actually play that land. Also, should have attacked before tapping out like a monsoon. All right, that's a clock. Hmm. Hmm. They have one card in hand. I think I should just wrath, right? I guess I'm not even losing. I'm taking two a turn, and they're taking DI a turn. I don't know. Let's see what they do. Yeah, I know I have Afterlife, I have five guys, I have infinite card advantage. Taking four turn, I can just gain two with that guy. I'm gonna have lethal next turn and have them start to chum block. All right, well, had I known, had I known, I would have played differently. They're still in kind of hardcore chum block mode. Oh, let's see what happens. 
I mean, I don't think I can lose this game. I don't even think there's like tricks or anything that lose me this game. That's what we're about to find out. Do I have two rafts? What? Oh, I have two rafts? Why? Or did they draw the second one? Now, even if they draw the second one, that's only like 10 damage and I had potentially 11. Hey, they didn't even pretend, they didn't even try and tab the, the unblockable one. Wait, why did I attack with the afterlife, dude? What is wrong with me? Oh, that was terrible. All right. <clears throat> All about sending a message, yeah. Is that match? I think that's match, right? Yeah. That's kind of scary, those exaltations. I did only lose the games where I just got, uh, let's see, did I, did I, was I happy with the way I built my deck? I think so. I think second prying eyes is specific to that matchup. Yeah, all right. If he had a buff in hand, you could have lost. I don't think so. He was like six points of damage short, right? I was at 13 and he could deal like, I don't know. Yeah, now even if he had second, second exaltation, he was still three points of damage short. They chose to play first, I will keep. Wow, making sure I don't get ran over. Concordia Pegasus. Wasn't the Concordia the like boat that a bunch of people died? The Italian cruise ship. Yeah. That was, that was kind of a big deal. I think the I think the, the captain ended up going to jail or something. <clears throat> he was Italian. I wouldn't trust Italians with my crews. You know, Germans, Scandies, you know, maybe Americans, Italians. Pfft. He left the ship, yeah, he was like, one of the first to get out of the ship. I don't think that's what a captain's supposed to do. Saved his skin. Is that what happened? He was he was close to the coast so he could show his friends. Yeah, sounds about right. It's so tilting when stuff happens. It's so, I'd be so, I don't even imagine if I knew someone who died because of that freaking, it's like there was a like train accident in in Spain a few years ago. And it turned out the guy was like notorious for like bragging about how fast he was going, you know, pushing the, the train to the limit and stuff and like taking pictures and stuff and shocker, he like got in an accident went too fast, got in an accident. Like how does that even happen? What the hell? What is wrong with you? <clears throat> Not just to shove to friends, shove to a woman that he liked. Oh. Yeah, I mean. Not exactly the greatest surprise, I guess. Well, I'm just racing, really? Maybe, maybe they have a trick. 
thought they were going to block, and then I could just play Lockheed plus Messenger. But now I'm not so sure. That's not good if they didn't block. They might have a buff. The 2-4 would be a disaster. They're keeping green up over white. Maybe they need to loot anyways. Yeah. The 2-4 that pumps flyers, that pumps flyer stuffsness would be... <laughs> what the hell? I will say, and this is statistically proven, this is over a large sample. The worst, the worst tourists in the waiting lines in France are always the Italians. They're always the rudest, the loudest, try to cut in line. Italians every time, sorry, Mingucci, it's just true. It's just facts. Sorry to anyone who's Italian. <laughs> Look at what Gav started. Uh-oh, did they have plus one, plus one? Okay. They just wanted to get four damage in to make a statement and then now, now they're blocking. Cool. Um, not sure I should have played that land. It's probably fine. Oh, man, I hope I didn't have too many Italian subs. Hopefully I didn't lose like 10% of my subs. Probably not that many. And Mangucci's not gonna unsub. He'll understand, he's reasonable. <laughs> this is why the EU doesn't work. Well, do you fear someone asked me earlier if, I, if French still looked down on British and I said no. I don't feel really look down on anyone, but I forgot about Italians. I do look down on Italians, especially when they're waiting in line to get into museums. Gav doesn't look down on me. Oh, I was talking British in, in general. I do look down to British magic players. That is true, I forgot about that. Not you, Lily. Obviously you're, you're amazing and you're great at magic. <clears throat> but yeah. You've got you've got a lot of PT to top eights to make up for uh past twenty five years. You have a you have a pretty big burden on your shoulders. Sorry to let you know. Hopefully Lily never gets bored or annoyed of me just making fun of British magic. Because I do enjoy it. More than I should. <laughs> Us Germans dislike French because of their arrogance. Oh yeah, arrogant frogs, obviously. Listen, I've spent my entire magic career having to listen to people make fun of the French and how we're all cheaters, so I was bullied and now I'm doing the bullying. No, I'm joking. Bullying is bad. Please don't do it. All right. They have like very dirtly decked, the mill guy. It's kind of scary. That makes me want to... Board out my one power dudes and bring in like random beaters, just like these guys, I guess. Could bring bring to trial. We saw the four free. I don't think that's enough to bring in bring to trial. Our summary judgment's incredibly bad against them. They have creatures that don't attack. And then they had that stupid 4 free flying that has Vigilance. I should probably board out a... Uh, yeah, I'll see. I'll, we'll see what we see in game two, but... 
don't love this hand, but I'll keep, I guess. I could see losing this match. I, I, I don't love what I saw in game one. The male, the very defensive blue-white. Probably some like bombs in green. We saw they discarded the, the incubation mage. Was I ever accused of cheating? Uh, a few times. I wonder if there's any of the big magic players that have never been accused of cheating. Probably not. Oh yeah, Reed Duke might be the exception, actually. Reed Duke might be one of the rare exceptions. And I'm sure someone has accused Reed Duke of cheating. Monsters everywhere. Why do you think the strongest guild to draft is so far? I've had some pretty strong Simic decks. And I think blue whites or like blue white or Esper is pretty good too. I think Orza is pretty good. I I hate Gruel, but I'm not sure if it's actually bad. Um, I just don't like the way it plays. There's like no play to it. But you know, if you're drafting against other good players, you know. You're not really gonna outplay them anyway, so maybe that shouldn't be a concern. But it just it, it also I've been losing was Gruel, I guess. And beating Gruel in general. And then Red Black. Red Black just Red Black's probably kind of the Golgari of of this set. I'm not sure if there's like a Celestia of this set. I think Celestia was just the worst guild last time around. But, uh, I feel like Ragdos might be the Golgari. You know, if you're the solo Gol Ragdos drafter, you'll have a good deck. But, uh, problem with Ragdos is that the gold comments are like pretty bad. So you need jugglers, basically. But everyone's gonna try and take your jugglers, so I don't know. That's why I'm one of the worst consumes I've ever seen. Simic and Orzov are the most consistent. Uh, I could see that. I would say Orzov is probably the one where you'll probably still have an okay deck even if you get like no good cards. I feel like you can maybe put the, together like an annoying Orzov deck no matter what, but... Well, he says she loves the blue decks. Yeah, I've kind of, I like blue a lot. Um, let's see. This guy's not attacking. So I could go lock it into Stroll, but then I don't get to lose. I need to start killing them fast. This is like unreal slow, right? One card a turn. Oh wait, is this an advisor? No, I think there's no advisor in the set. I think it's only an advisor. I think there's one other advisor in all of standards. Kind of curious, actually. I'm not even sure there's another advisor in standard. Oh yeah, I remember we looked it up actually, Teresa. And it's legendary, <laughs> rough. Um, all right, so what we're saying, just loot. Just realize they're stuck on free lands and it's turn set. I mean, their draw's not even that bad, but probably want to draw a land at some point.
This consumes really good against a 4 free flyer. Uh, should I loot or should I go lock it into Thrall? Kind of close. Let's put that loot away. Oh, I guess I can cut. I can even use a judgment on a petitioner. So my entire hand's kind of. I guess Vim doesn't do anything for me. All right, I'll loot. Oh, insurance. I think I just keep playing my creatures for now. Montreal on a raft when they have infinite guys. I don't know. It was that was kind of questionable actually. But I kind of have to play block. Mm, no, I like playing this for all. Are we too proud to judgment and petitioner? No, definitely not. I just realized, you know, I don't know. For some reason, in my brain, it was like a creature needs to be attacking for me to be able to use that card. But you know, obviously not. I have a pretty decent clock. I don't care about judging a, judging a petitioner right away. I'd rather loot, I think. Wait, I have all good cards in hand. Hmm. I'll loot anyways. Judgment's kind of whatever. How many cards is it if you have four? Top 12. Too bad I don't have that common that shuffles back everything in your deck. That'd be kind of a gas. There's nothing wrong with angled shooting when you're playing for thousands of dollars. It happens a lot of competitive sports, not just magic. Obviously there's something wrong with angled shooting. Angled shooting is usually just cheating, honestly. I feel like angle shooting is just a made up, honestly, it's just a made up notion. People who cheat made up. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, the notion of angle shooting just is just wrong. Either it's in the rules and you can do it. I don't know. I guess that's, I don't know, I, I should have looted in response and I can't. I don't know, no, maybe, maybe there is such a thing as angle. It's kind of a nice combo. Battleman plus Wrath of God. Like what LSV did in, what LSV did was the token against the Zani. I mean, you know, it's angled shooting, but also Dizani could read into it and it could backfire on LSV. I feel like it's fine, you know, it's like, was in the rules, he didn't do anything wrong. But that's what would be considered kind of angled shooting. It's like in poker when you like, you know, you pretend something Sure, they might fall for it, and like people could be like, oh, it's dirty, but also it could backfire. It could be like, oh, he would never do that if he actually had it, you know, whatever. So, <clears throat> yeah, angle shooting is basically doing something dirty, but not against the rules. But I feel like if it's not against the rules, then it's not really dirty. It's just like, a t I don't know, you can, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe we can look it up, see if there's a definition. All right, they're at seven. They have no way to gain lives, no way to block my flyers. Um, just gonna play the arbiter, I guess. Sphinx. This is getting slightly tricky. Let's see. I kind of need to draw an untapped land. 
So now I can just go battlement my entire team and then Kai's Wrath. It's kind of cool. Could attack first too. Oh no, they're just dead on board, right? What am I saying? I figured they would just scoop if they were dead on board, but... I was literally gonna... I literally didn't even realize there were dubs. All right, well... I don't know if their deck was good or not. I don't know if like playing petitioners is uh is ever good unless you have the super wall, like two or three walls, five or six petitioners, screaming shield. I could see that deck being good. I could dedicate Trinity It's not very good, but <clears throat> I chose oh no, I chose not to play. Angle shooting definition. It's funny that ang is angle shooting really mostly poke. I guess it's that. Yeah, I guess we looked it up before actually, and it was already like I was already. I, I'm sure I was already surprised. It was like mostly a, a poker term. All right, that's way too long. That's the same thing. Angle shooting, the act of using various underhanded, unfair methods to take advantage of inexperienced opponents. The difference between an angle shooter and a cheater is only a matter of degree. What a cheat or thief does is patently against the rules. What an angle shooter does may be marginally legal, but it's neither ethical nor gentlemanly. Nor is it in the spirit of the game. A common tactic of someone angle shooting is to bank on the misinterpretation of actions by other players at the table. Some well-known angle shoots have been have, have now been banned. <laughs> All right, Tim. What about I play some magic and win some trophies while you stay? Please stay, Tim. Just ban anyone who talks about angle cheating, angle shooting, or cheating. You have my permission. Let's talk about, I don't know, why don't you, why don't Chet talk to me about Stanner? Start, start uh, feeding me uh, the info, what's good, what's winning, what I should play at the PT. Am I supposed to use a binding on Oligarch just because it's annoying as hell? Hmm. Am I supposed to trade my Panther for an Oligarch? It seems even worse. Hybrid Krasis is 37 ticks. Yeah, I heard that the best deck was just black, green, splashing Krasis and mono red. What about angel shooting? Yeah, we can talk about angel shooting. How did my mocks go? Not good. One, two drop. My deck was bad. The amount of stream time you devote to reading things on the internet is quite manning. Really? It's not that much. Wait, what? Oh, plus one, plus one. How am I gonna not die this game? I guess I'll use a binding on Oligarch. They mulligan too. Oh, it does doesn't do much though. They're gonna sack it to final payment. I'm gonna feel like garbage. All right, I'll take two on. I don't want to get. Nexus of Fate is still a good card. 
Ha. Huh. The combo. Oh man. I'm a huge fan's good luck. Thanks, bud. <clears throat> Let's see what people are. Nexus of Fate is still a good card. Mono Red is not amongst the best deck. Is it just because people are playing like crazy anti-red decks? How do you feel about Wild West Plane? I do not know what Wild West Plane is. And I'm not going to go look it up on the internet or else I'm going to get yelled at. Strat says Esper seems fun. Esper was absorbed moment of craving and Vraska's contempt and Teferi shuts down Monorad. Uh, I mean, I've seen, I've seen the Gates deck. The Gates deck looks kind of cool. I was surprised it only had two angels in it though, I think. I figured you'd just play four angels for the bread. It's a petition to get Watsi to release a Wild West game set. Oh, that sounds gas. Sign me up. All right, what's the deal here? Oh, right, okay, trading was a griffin or is that? It's probably fine. The I card advantage. They probably have like dead rebels and stuff in there. Um, trying to think if I have any cards that can make me want to not trade. Was goblins with revolvers. No guns in. I haven't seen anyone play that card yet. I think I had it in one of my decks, but never drew it or... This card seems fine if you had a lot of afterlife. It's Cry 2. I didn't even know it's Cry 2. Um, hmm. Now what? Just Bind. Bind, take 6. Then Judgment. Seems kind of like not the greatest line. Market attack, play thrall, save the binding. All right, I think I like that better. <clears throat> All right. Messenger seems like a decent target. Don't shoot the messenger. Hopefully they don't play something completely busted. They're like Ragdos, Gui. Ragdos, kill everything, Glee. I feel like Ragdos is bugged. I was playing on Arena the other day and they Ragdos my entire board. It was like five crazy. Right, looks like they must have a trick, right? Get to the point, maybe? Probably just get to the point. Seems like the most likely. Final payments. That's not fine. What do they have? I guess I'm losing it all, but... Pinch! Carnival. Was... Night of Sorrow. Hmm. More flyers. Wrath of Gods are often awkward and limited. 
It used to be really good back in the day where creatures were really bad. Because you could easily get in spots where you didn't have to play too many creatures and your opponent had to like keep playing creatures and stuff and you could set it up nicely. But now the creatures are so good. If, if you're like, a lot of the time if you're just one creature behind, you're like, well, I kind of have to get rid of it right away. So it's kind of hard to get in these spots where you like get them with your Wrath of Gods. The only spots where you can get them if 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 they're on the plane they go like guy 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 and you're like you know just play one creature maybe and then you wrath on turn five. Mono blue got significantly worse against mono red. Oh yeah, why is that? I want to try to, I mean, I tried it a bit during the the Wizards event, the early access stream, but it seems like the new Sphinx is good. And I, I know Hooglin was playing with Mono Blue with the Sphinx in it, the, Scry Sphinx, the Sphinx that scries, etc. And he, he seems to think it was pretty good. How they get Dax, Syndicate, Messengers, and Knight of Sorrows? Well, that's kind of annoying. All right, as much as I want to get in for some damage, I think looting's just too cool. It's almost never right to trade damage for a car. I wonder if I should just supposed to board out Kaya's graph against the dead rebels all uh all after life dudes. It's not impossible, honestly. Oh that blows. Alright, I guess I'll keep two cards in hand. In case they have uh, another one. They're like super good. It's like old two for ones, Wrath of Gods, Art Angel. We kind of have the same deck. Except I'm playing blue. And they're playing red. <coughs> when constructed, Ebb? Not sure, soon. I feel like I have a decent grasp on the draft format. But I want to get just... I feel like this draft format's not that tricky. Like, I feel like there's some draft format when you where you keep learning things like 50 drafts in. And I feel like this format is not that kind of format. Yeah, it's just... I'm already pretty plot. Oh, yeah, I said I want to keep a land in case they had discard spells. It's a true grind fest. Jeez. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but it's not a free to death touch. How many kind of two afterlife dudes? Maybe I should have saved a courier. I don't know why. I, well, I do know why I played it, but oh yeah, it was in the play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I already played a land. All right, this is a pretty good spot though. It looks like 
You know, I could get them to overcommit maybe on this. Ultraviolet Archangel says, I played a lot of Vicious Conquistador before rotation. I wonder if it's viable with like Spawn and Theater of Ours. That's actually the deck I was playing was a lot. Oh, am I just dead? <clears throat> what did you get back in Archway Angel? I was playing that deck a lot on uh, on release day and it was pretty fun. It was pretty good. It was like Red Black Beatdown, but I haven't seen any lists, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's not like that great of a deck. I don't feel like I've seen anyone like posting results with it, but yeah, well, I had Vicious Conquistador. It was uh, it was pretty good. All right, I gain one life. They get two one one flyers. I'm at six. They're at five. They have an Archway Angel. So I'm not gonna really be racing. Wait, I have four cards left in my deck? Wow. Forget the... Wait, their draw was unreal, right? One, two, three, four, seven lands. Seven lands in the top 25 cards. Maybe they have one land in hand. Hmm. I didn't realize I had so few cards left in my deck. I don't even know if I can attack because I have Arch Archway Angel in hand, right? Did they not get back Archway Angel? I think they did. Whatever, I'm gonna... Well, if I got a block, it's a good attack. It probably is Goldfish is slower than Monorite and damages itself with the Demon, yeah. But the Demon seems like it could be good against some of these green decks. And like you have more like more resilient sources of damage, I guess. But yeah, I could see how Ragdos is just a slightly worse red deck, etc. Wait, don't they have Angel in hand or do this? Maybe I was dreaming. Maybe they don't have Angel in hand. Maybe they, I thought they brought back Angel was clear the stage. Maybe they didn't have the. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe, maybe. Um, all right, looks like I might win on my very last draw step. That's kind of crazy. So let's see, Kaya's Wrath, Scorch Mark. What other tricks? Clear the stage, consign the pit. Final payment. Oh, he has to go. Don't have time for two more games. GG's. That's crazy. I don't know what my last card was. Well, did he mail us? No, he closed though. He almost like grinded through my entire deck. Oh, he said he had to go, so I guess it's whatever, right? Bring to trial? I can't remember. No. Stop. I'm gonna go up to 41 cards. Yeah, he almost got there, cuz, or they almost got there, cuz, they just drew very few lands. And there's a lot of two for ones. When's the first Mythic Championship? It's in Cleveland and it's in a bit less than a month. Basically four weeks from now. The Friday. All right, so I'll, I guess I'll take it. Well, trophy. They had to go. They didn't have time for one more game. New pet peeve. People who take pictures of their draft decks without showing the side. 